If you have eight gigabytes or 16 gigabytes of RAM and you are having game stutters and your FPS drops for no reason, then your RAM might be silently killing your FPS. Most gamers blame graphics drivers or Windows updates, but in reality, Windows memory behavior is one of the biggest causes of micro stutters, texture pop-ins, and sudden frame drops. In this video, I'll show you how to fix RAM-related stuttering and unlock smoother performance using safe Windows settings, step-by-step. Step. So before we start this video, please consider subscribing and dropping a like, because making videos like this takes a lot of time. First, we're going to disable memory compression, which is one of the biggest hidden causes of stutters. Memory compression sounds good on paper, but during gaming, it forces Windows to constantly compress and decompress RAM data, increasing CPU load and causing frame time spikes. To turn this off, right-click on the Start menu, then click Windows Terminal, Admin, or PowerShell, Admin. If you see a security prompt, click Yes. Once the blue or black window opens, carefully type the following command exactly as shown and then press Enter. By the way, you can copy this command from the description of this video. Your memory compression is now disabled. This alone can significantly reduce stutters and improve frame consistency, especially in open world and competitive games. Additionally, if you want to check it is disabled or not, just type get mm agent, and here it will show you the results. All right, now for the next step, you have to download and install the MZ RAM booster on your PC, and you can download it from my Discord server, link in video description. When you first open MZ RAM Booster, you will land on the System Information page. This window shows you everything that's happening inside your PC in real time. You can see your total physical memory, how much RAM is being used, and how much is currently free. You'll also notice a live graph showing your memory consumption, along with your CPU usage. This tab is mainly for monitoring, but at the right side, you will find four key features. Optimize Now, Recover Memory, Smart Optimize, and CPU Boost. We will return to these after applying the correct settings. Next, move to the Options tab. This is the most important section for actual performance improvement. Before touching anything in this tab, click on Recommended Settings. This automatically scans your system and applies the safest and most optimal configuration based on your hardware. After that's done, you can review the values to make sure everything matches the proper high-performance setup. Under the Optimize Options section, you'll see the first setting, Auto Optimize if free RAM is below. In your updated configuration, this is set to 1,629 megabytes, meaning the program will automatically free memory whenever your available RAM drops under this threshold. The next option, Try Increase Free RAM 2, is now set to 10,753 megabytes, telling the program the target amount of memory it should try to free during the optimization process. Below that, pause between auto optimizations is configured to 120 minutes, helping reduce unnecessary background activity while still keeping the system clean over time. The auto optimize memory every option is also set to 120 minutes, reinforcing a consistent optimization cycle. Finally, optimize when CPU usage is lower than is now set at 30%, ensuring that memory cleaning only happens when your processor isn't under heavy load. In the Recover Options section, you'll find Try to Recover set to 16,618 megabytes, which defines how much memory the tool tries to reclaim when performing a recovery process. The number of passes is configured to two, meaning the program will run through the recovery sequence twice for a deeper cleanup. Below that, the general options remain the same. Load on Windows Startup, Optimize on Startup, Start in System Tray, and Beep when RAM is optimized. These help automate the entire process so the software runs quietly in the background without needing manual input. Once all settings look correct, finish by clicking Apply Settings. This ensures all of your new optimization values are saved and activated, giving you an instant and long-term boost in system responsiveness and in-game FPS. Now move to the Tweaks tab. This section contains deep system adjustments that directly improve responsiveness. 
Enable the option to disable NTFS last access updates, which prevents Windows from constantly writing unnecessary timestamps on files. Disable 8.3 file name creation as well, since it's an old system no longer needed today. Then enable disable executive paging so that Windows doesn't push essential components into the page file, which can cause slowdowns. Turn on unload unused DLLs to automatically remove leftover libraries from memory and enable auto in tasks so frozen programs close instantly without waiting. At the bottom, set the hung application timeout to 1000 milliseconds and set both kill timeouts to 2000 milliseconds. These settings will make Windows much quicker when closing apps. After adjusting them, click Apply Changes. The next tab is CPU control. Here, simply select the option that says foreground applications will have the best performance. This forces Windows to prioritize whatever program you're actively using, especially useful for gaming. Below that, you'll see the CPU L2 cache size setting. If you know your exact cache size, you can enter it here. But if you don't, just leave it at zero and MZ RAM Booster will automatically detect it. Once done, click Apply Changes. After setting everything correctly, return to the main window. Now you can start applying the performance boosts. Press Optimize Now to immediately free memory. Use Recover Memory for a deeper cleanup that clears unused blocks of RAM. Then click Smart Optimize which runs a balanced sequence of optimizations depending on your current system load. Finally, use CPU Boost to ensure that foreground tasks and games receive higher priority from your processor. After running these tools, look at the memory graph again and you will instantly notice a huge increase in available RAM. In actual gaming, the difference is very noticeable. Before optimization, I had high background memory usage constant stutters, and unstable FPS during fights. Okay, so now in the final step, we're going to fix another major issue that hurts FPS stability, and that is incorrect virtual memory settings, also known as the page file. Virtual memory acts as backup RAM when your system runs out of physical memory, and if it's too small or poorly configured, your game will stutter or freeze when RAM usage spikes. To change this, right-click on this PC, then click Properties. From here, click Advanced System Settings on the left side. In the new window, look for the Performance section and click Settings. Now go to the Advanced tab and click Change under Virtual Memory. Once you're inside the Virtual Memory window, uncheck Automatically Manage Paging File Size for all drives at the top. Select your main drive, usually C, and choose custom size. Now here's the important part. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, set the initial size to 4,096 megabytes and the maximum size to 8,192 megabytes. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, set the initial size to 8,192 megabytes and the maximum size to 16,384 megabytes. These values give your system enough memory headroom to prevent stutters when RAM usage spikes during gaming. After entering the numbers, click Set, then click OK, and restart your PC. However, if you have more than 16 gigabytes of RAM, like 32 gigabytes, I do not recommend manually increasing virtual memory unless you are experiencing crashes. On high RAM systems, Windows already has enough physical memory and forcing a large page file can actually reduce performance instead of improving it. This step is most effective for 8GB and 16GB RAM users, where memory pressure is much higher during modern gaming. Once you've completed these steps, your system will handle memory far more efficiently. Games will stop freezing when loading textures, frame pacing will feel smoother, and those random FPS drops caused by RAM overload will be drastically reduced. If this video helped you fix stutters and boost performance, make sure to like the video, subscribe for more deep level PC optimization guides, and let me know in the comments what RAM size you're using 
and which game you tested this on. <laughs> now at the end of this video, I want to thank you for watching this whole thing, and now I will see you in the next one.